macular degeneration is going to result in central loss of vision called scotoma. Central scotoma is going to get bigger as the disease progresses, but usually peripheral vision is going to be preserved in patients with macular degeneration. Now on fundoscopic exam, we're going to see drusen spots, which are basically these fatty deposits found within the eye, as you can see in this picture. Now the cause of macular degeneration is thought to be due to oxidative damage to the eye. This oxidative damage is going to cause accumulation of extracellular matrix, and this accumulation can cause areas of hypoxia within the eye, and the areas of hypoxia can secrete wedge F, which can form blood vessels. Now, macular degeneration is going to have two subtypes. One is going to be dry and the other one is going to be wet. The disease is going to start off as dry and in 10% of the patients, it can progress to wet. When we form new blood vessels with VEGF secretion, and when these blood vessels leak, this is when the disease has progressed to wet macular degeneration. So the secretion of wedge F is going to form leaky blood vessels. And when these blood vessels leak, it is when the disease has progressed to wet macular degeneration from dry. The leakage of blood into the eye is going to cause rapid decline in vision. When patients have dry macular degeneration, we give them a grid and they're going to look at this grid and see what we're seeing. When the disease has progressed to wet macular degeneration, they're going to see something like this, where the straight lines are going to be distorted. And this is called metamorphopsia. This is going to be one of the earliest symptoms of wet macular degeneration. This is a way for the patients to know that it is time to call an ophthalmologist. Now, when we're treating wet macular degeneration, we can use antibodies against wedge F. And the reason for this is because wedge F is going to be causing the formation of leaky blood vessels that leads to wet macular degeneration. So as a result, when we're treating this condition, we wanna use antibodies against wedge F to decrease wedge F levels. Now, the two drugs that we're going to use are going to be bevacizumab and ranisubizumab. And the mnemonic that you can use to remember these two drugs is going to be Biva ran away from her Regis. So the Biva is going to be for bevacizumab. The RAM part is going to help you remember ranibizumab. And the Regis part is going to help you remember that these two drugs work to decrease VEGF levels within the eye.